Sydney's Danny Samuels is Australia's newest world champion after producing a massive personal best to win the women's discus at the World Championships in Berlin. As Dave Colbert reports, Samuels becomes the youngest ever to win the women's discus world title. Golden night for Australia here at the Olympic Stadium in Berlin with the 21-year-old from Sydney, Danny Samuels, pulling up a major upset to take the gold medal in the women's discus. She had a slow start. In fact, coming into her third throw, she was in 10th position. She needed to get into the top eight to proceed through to the final three rounds. In round four, she started to move into her work with a massive personal best of 64 metres 76 to move into second place. Oh, that's superb. That's another improvement, surely. Then in round five, with the Australian crowd cheering her on, she launched the platter further than she ever had before. A two and a half metre personal best to move into the gold medal position, sending the Australians in the crowd into delirium. Can she attack Grasso's lead? Yes, she can. Wow, that is a massive throw. She has taken the lead by 24 centimetres. And with that best of 65 metres 44, the others couldn't catch her. And Danny Samuels is the new world champion. Fantastic. Yeah, I love it. We've only got one more to get. That's London Olympics and we'll be right. It's unbelievable. It's just... I don't know what to say, it's all gone so fast and it all just happened so quickly that everyone was jumping up and down, the order was changing, so I can't believe it. And then round five. Oh, that was unbelievable. <laughs> to see 65 and a half come up, it was, oh, I've been dreaming about that for years. And um, so, like I, like, like I said before, I've had a, had a lot of hit and misses last year. They were sort of going out the sector and I had an out the sector foul at Nationals this year. But um, I think um, it's due to my coach, me and Dennis, working on the right thing at the right time technically. And um, I had a very smooth preparation after Nationals. So, uh, yeah, it all, it all came together at the right time. Two and a half metre personal best in the World Championship final to be the youngest yeah. ever world champion in the discus. Well, that's pretty good when you say it like that. It's um, Last year the age factor did get me a bit and I felt like it sort of wasn't my turn, but um, I slapped myself into, into gear after Olympics and thought, I belong out there, I'm as good as these girls and I'm going to take them on this year and this year's my year. Earlier in the day in the men's 50 kilometre walk, it was almost a golden double to Australia with Jared Tallent and Luke Adams charging to the front at 30 kilometres. They stayed there for the best part of 7 or 8k before being reeled in by Sergei Kurdyapkin. The two Australians, they finished in some distress. Luke Adam, a personal best in sixth place. Jared Tallent in seventh. And as Craig Hilliard explained to us afterwards, both of them gave it their best shot. Well, you always hope that it's 50k, and I've been around enough 50k races, and so is Brent, to know that the race doesn't start to 30k. So really, from what was going to occur from 30 to 40k was pretty much going to determine how the race was going to pan out. And I think if they'd got through to sort of 42, 44k, you know, feeling good, I think it would have been a totally different result. In other events, the Australian men's 4x100 metre team, they finished in third place in their semi-final, but they weren't able to proceed through to the final. The women's 200 metres, Alison Felix, she won her third consecutive 200 metre title, and LaShawn Merritt, the Olympic champion, beat the defending champion, Jeremy Warriner, in the men's 400 metres. But tonight, it was all about the 21-year-old from Sydney, Danny Samuels, Australia's newest world champion. Tomorrow night, Steve Hooker in the men's pole vault final and Fabrice Lapierre and Mitchell Watt in the men's long jump. In Berlin, David Colbert, Fox Sports News. Thank you, Dave. Yes, you've certainly seen some terrific sights in that stadium, but this is the best for Australia. Samuels becoming just the sixth Aussie to claim a gold at the World Championships. The last was actually Nathan Dietz, who claimed the 50-kilometre walk a couple of years ago. Also at that event in Osaka, Yana Rawlinson won the second of her 400-metre hurdles titles after breaking through four years earlier in Paris, while Dmitry Markov scaled the heights in the pole vault back in 2001. Kathy Freeman, of course, won the 400-metre world crown in both the 97 and 99 World Championships. And Bob DiCostello will always be remembered for that marathon victory in Helsinki 26 years ago. Terrific stuff by young Danny Samuels mm. and lovely to just see the personality shining through as well. Mm, yeah, she's very natural, isn't she? Absolutely. She's a, a pleasure to watch. And they'll be celebrating long and hard in the south of the city today. We'll, we'll wrap up all the footy action after the break of the long lunch as the Western...